Welcome to our Five on Five. Pleased to be joined today by Dr. Anolf Teen from Jackson Care Connect and Doug Stewart from Mercy Flights. Thank you both so much for being here today. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. So we're here to talk about this, this new relationship, this new partnership, if you will, between your two organizations. And first, tell us how this benefits the public. Sure. So Jackson Care Connect is the only uh, coordinated care organization in Southern Oregon that is a nonprofit uh, CCO or coordinated care organization. And our ability um, in that nonprofit state, we can partner with our community partners like Mercy Flights to provide new and innovative ways for serving the members that we, we touch. And those folks are usually folks that are having health care coverage for mental health and physical health, um, addiction services, as well as oral health. Mm -hmm. and, and talk about uh, what's going on here between your two organizations. Right. So um, with Mercy Flights, they've been um, in the Valley for a long time, and they've been seeing, just as we have, that there's a lot of folks using the emergency room that could be served in a better way, in a better space. And so we, in 2015, um, offered a request for proposal to um, um, it, create innovative programs for um, decreasing the cost and improving the care for folks in our Valley. And um, by partnering with Mercy Flights, we were able to work with their uh, paramedics to help get folks that were usually going to the emergency room many times a week even, back into primary care or into the other services that they needed. Okay, and so Doug, how does this, coming from your perspective, how does this relationship make sense for the community? Well, it's a perfect marriage between Jackson Care Connect and Mercy Flights because it's their organizations that very much care about the community and the, the health of the community. Um, so this, this, this is a very synergistic um, relationship in terms of um, we, we at Mercy Flights know there was, there's gaps in health care here. And, you know, about 40 probably percent of the people that we bring to the emergency departments that we transport, they don't need an emergency department, but they need something. They need some kind of help or some kind of care. And so the program we started is perfect uh, match with Jackson Care Connect to meet the uh, triple aim, which is taking care of the population, patient-centered care, and reducing health care costs. Okay, very good. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Dr. Ann Alfteen from Jackson Care Connect and Doug Stewart from Mercy Flight. So, Doug, let me, let me start with you talking about the relationship and the partnership that you guys have going. Uh, what does it mean for, for your staff, for your people on the ground, for your paramedics? Do they have to undergo extra training, or how does this work? Yeah, it's a whole different training regiment that they have to go through. They're, the paramedics aren't expanding their scope of practice, but they're expanding their role within the community. So they're essentially making house calls as individuals to... Um, to a person's home to try to figure out what people need, uh, what are the barriers, what's bringing them to the emergency departments, and how can we help. They're essentially investigators, they're social medicine investigators, and um, we're helping patients get what they need. Mm -hmm. and, and trying to keep them out of the ER and, and all of those things that yes. reduce those costs. Yep. So, uh, and you know, you guys have been doing this for two years now. Sure. What have you guys seen as to how it's going so far, and what does that mean moving forward? It's been incredibly successful. I think that the latest statistics we have, are, there's a reduction of about 50% of the numbers of folks going to the emergency room that are engaged in this program. Wow. So we were excited to see that, and so we expanded the program to include the Mercy Flights uh, paramedics going to work with these folks coming out of the hospital after an admission, not just out of the emergency room. So we're excited to see where that goes. Okay, very good. Well, thank you both so much for being here and sharing it with our viewers. Appreciate Thank it. you, Thanks Craig. Craig. Right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.